What's up, you two? It's Jay from Earthly Kisses. I am coming today to make a test batch soap. Um, and I'm just playing around. Had nothing else to do today, so I decided to make some soap. Uh, today I am testing out a fragrance from Rustic Essentials Hippie Chick. Um, bought this some time ago based off of the reviews, so I just thought I'd try it. So we will see how this goes. I am using colors from uh, TKB Trading. Uh, don't ask me what they are. <laughs> I can't tell you off the top of off the top of my head, but uh, I'll make sure to list them in the description box below. So, as you guys know, I do not plan, so I have no idea what it is that I'm doing with this soap. Um, I'm just hoping that it stays, um, <clears throat> thin enough, uh, for me to have some fun with it. Um, you know, the weather has been crazy lately, and it's changed the temperature of my basement. It's, like, really cold outside, but because it's cold outside, I've had to turn the heat up really high. And it is just, like, has been some off conditions for me for soaping. Um, I haven't changed my recipe or anything, but... I just cannot get it where I want it to be. So, sorry for my reach. So, I got my oils here. I got my light water is ready. I need to put my gloves on. That's what I'm missing. I'm like, what am I not doing? Put my gloves on here. So, I hope everybody is having a fabulous day. I'm just having me a good old time by myself. I was over here rocking out to some nice music while I batched out some oils. I spilled one of them. More than half of it. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Nothing like wasting money, right? It's fine. So I had to clean that mess up. Hopefully, I won't have any more mishaps today. I know I can be messy, but that was atrocious. Okay. So, we got a lye water. I got some tussle soap in my lye water. I don't have any clays uh, or any additives other than my sodium lactate and my oils. Um, this is a lard oil recipe that I'm using. Um, lard is not the the whole base of it, but it does have some lard in it, some palm, some olive oil, and some coconut oil. So, let's get this. Really? Can we get the bubbles out the blender? Okay. So, let's get this going. Okay. I am soaping at room temperature. Okay, that's all that good. Nice, super thin trays. Oh, yeah. Let's have some fun. So, uh, this is going to be a four color soap. Maybe. Um, I haven't really. I don't plan it because I don't plan. I always wind up with this dilemma of how much and. I don't know how much. Let's see about that there. And do about that there. Uh, this will be for my weight. See, I almost had another catastrophe. All right. Ah, my base color. Um, I don't want a whole lot of white. I just want a smidgen amount of that. So. And sit this to the side of the right to get rid of the my water bucket. And okay, so here we go with the base color. 
I believe this is a uh, sweet tea. That's what that color kind of looks like. Make sure you guys can see. And I call myself pre-mixing my oils. I mean my color and my oils. Hopefully I mixed enough. Because you always know me, I always underestimate what I need or what I want. And that's because I don't plan. I try to plan, but it just doesn't work out for me, guys. I'm so sorry. Does not. Oh, that's a beautiful color. That was perfect. Now, this, uh, this fragrance does uh, have 2% uh, vanilla in it. Uh, so hopefully it won't change the color of things too badly. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, this is the reason why I'm going with more muted colors. So should it change, it won't be too drastic or, or anything. Okay. So this one is more like that color. It's pretty teal. Well, not quite a teal, but it's really shimmery. And I like it. It seemed to go well with what I was going for, so we're going to try that out. I definitely made more of that than I needed because I was expecting my batter to be a little bit more yellow than it is. Um, but I guess because of the lard, it's not as yellow as it normally is. This is not my normal recipe. This is something that I make only every now and then. That turned out lovely. Let's see if we can get the rest of that in there. Just for sake of not wasting anything. Not really enough to save for another batch. And the next one is, uh, I believe this is a Hot Mama Red. Uh, so let's get some of that in there. And I didn't want a whole lot of this. I don't know, I guess when I just think of this fragrance, I think of the colors, you know, that they were wearing back then. And if it wasn't really bright neon colors, it was really muted brown, burgundies, and greens, and and that so forth so I didn't want a bright stick out in your face red okay that is going rather lovely let's get the rest of that in there see guess when I think I got too much I don't have any eggs It's going to be what it's going to be what I got. And I also chose this color red because, like I said, with that vanilla in it, I'm not using a stabilizer or anything like that. So if it should change, this should go right along with that. And I'm really hoping that I'm staying in framing. You guys can see me, and I'm not just doing all of this stuff for nothing. Okay, so that is that. And now we have the white. Clean up my mess here. Okay, so, white. I really don't want a lot of white, just a touch. I hope I don't have too much here. And with the soap oils working with me as far as coloration, I will not need a whole lot of that. That should really lighten up pretty good on its own, really. So, let's give it a mix up. Alright, so everything.
everything is all mixed up, everything is smelling fantabulous. Mm-hmm. It's like walking through the forest at night. Mm-hmm. It's not like a pine forest or anything, but you know, we're going through the forest and all the wild flowers are coming up. We got a white and we got a green and yeah. I'm just giving everything a little whiskey do here. Let me get going. I think I'm just going to do a drop swirl. Been kind of wanting to do that for quite some time now. And I haven't been able to achieve that because my batter has not been cooperating. I'm sorry guys, I'm fighting. There's this gnat that I just have not been able to get. I'm gonna get him though. He don't get away from me and leave me alone. done a drop swirl and some time now. Save the rest of the um, Yeah, at one point it seemed like that's all I was doing was drop swirls too. Yeah, sink down into there. Alright. Well, that smells really good. I mean, that thing is really growing on me. Good gracious. Wow. This net likes the way that smells as much as I do. I just will not stay away, but he won't go in the soap, which is great because if I get a net in my soap, I'll be pissed. I can't catch him. wonderful drop swirl. We're just going to let that do what it do on the inside. We're not going to do no swirly do's or nothing. Okay. So, let's get the white one. Start with 
a blank slate if we can. If I got a nib. I guess we'll try for something, something here. Smells great. All right. So I'm not gonna have enough to carry the chat, but we're gonna try to do something. I'm just trying to. I didn't quite. I didn't save myself a, a whole entire lot for the top. Really, I didn't. Overall, I really like this fragrance. It was really good. It did not move my soap at all. I actually could have did have a lot more fun with it if I wanted to. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm just soaking on the wind here. I'm trying to figure out what exactly it is that I want to do, period. So... Still got some of this bread. You just gonna drizzle that. And swirl it all through. Let that be the color that just goes nuts. Okay. 
Grab your chopstick. and I like to take me a skewer and go back through there I'm trying to do this to where my hand is not in the way y'all One more time for funsies. All right. So there is our hippie chick soap and it wouldn't be a girly girly soap if it didn't have some glitter so we're gonna put some glitter on her so look at these edges cleaned up couldn't make up my mind on which glitter to use. I got this, what is this, First Kiss, that kind of glitter, and then I got this Burning Leaves glitter, but I don't know, I think that would just be too muted. It doesn't have quite much pop to it, and then we got this Gold Reflex glitter. And I'm thinking that one is going to be a bit too bright. So we're going to go with the first kiss. Ha! And hopefully I can do this well. Without doing too much glitter. See, that's what I was trying not to do on that there. Oh, well. <laughs> that's what I was trying not to do. I keep saying I'm going to get me uh, one of those teeth thing on my bobs. See? So I don't have this problem anymore. I might as well just load it up now, huh? It's all jacked up. Well, there it is. It and all is glittery. Hotness. Yeah, I just made a word. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> See you guys at the cut. Bye. <laughs> I will be cutting my hippie chick soap that I made the other day because I was just so unbelievably bored. Uh, this is not for customers. This is just a soap that I was making for my family. So that's why I'm not that upset about the glitter that I jacked up. But that's quite alright. 
let's go ahead and get into the soap uh, hopefully the soap will be well set up um, I soaked this on I believe it was Sunday it is now Wednesday and oh yeah it's ready to come out I really did you see how I, I really didn't have to pull around the mold very much it's already begun to like shrink a bit so that is good that makes it coming out very easy oh, let's hope because my soaps have been coming out really soft those uh, they have really been coming out soft and I think it's just because of the temperature in my basement see how that smudge there on the corner but it's really pretty colors here's the side of it and actually I'm glad that I left it in there as long as I did because this soap is smudging all over the place I'm and I'm almost wondering if my soaps are gelling. Uh, I don't purposely try to gel my soaps. Okay, let's just make sure you guys are lined up pretty good and that you can see. I don't particularly gel my soaps, but it's just, y'all, it's just been cold. I'm freezing right now. I got my heat set to 73, which for some of you guys are probably going like, oh my God, that's burning hot, but I'm anemic. I stay cold. And uh, I don't spend as much time in my basement as I probably should. So therefore, I uh, don't realize how much warmer it is down here compared to upstairs. Okay. So if I remember correctly, this is just a drop swirl because I was so excited that I finally got my batter to act right I, you know, this is what happens when you don't soap for a while and when you try to get back into the swing of things you know you gotta get the kinks out okay so we'll see what this is gonna look like when we flip it over right ready oh those colors are nice don't ask me what colors I use I cannot remember I have to pull it and put it in the description box but as you can see you can still you can see where the wire went across it just goes to show you how soft that soap is but it is going to be scrum delicious on the skin so let's see what else we have in this loaf but it's so super creamy. And that's why I'm wondering um, if this soap gelled because I was thinking uh, these colors were not gonna be this vibrant. Um, I was just going for really muted colors. And uh, that doesn't seem to be what I have here. Uh, this red has kind of got a slight pop to it. Also, this fragrance, that one is pretty. Oh, look at that one. Um, this fragrance has vanilla in it. Uh, so, we'll see what type of changes that we're going to have. This is the reason why I selected such beauty colors. Uh, that way, if it started to tan out on me, uh, it would still be okay. That one is so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. That one is lovely. Lovely. I'll just sit there. Oh, you guys can't see that anyway. I'm sitting the soaps out of the shot. Crazy me. But I will do like I did once before. I will make sure to put a photo with the close-ups at the end. Ooh, that's a nice one. Yeah, so, um, guys. I am in the market for a soap cutter. 
I think I am just over, over, over uh, this cheese slicer. And I just put a nice little gouge in one of my bars of soap. <laughs> um, because I have nothing to butt my soaps up against. And as you can probably see, as I'm trying to cut through some of these soaps, it just, when it's soft like this, it just, oh, I'm so sorry. I can't stay focused. It's so pretty. <laughs> but, um, when I'm cutting my soaps, it just seems to slide around. And I found that I have a peeve for misshapen soup I don't like it uh, when I started out I started out with a sing uh, a single bar molds where you just pour it in and that's the size that you got and that was in too inconsistent for me I did not like that so birdie um, so I went from that to a miter box hate it hate it hated the miter box i mean my soaps was coming out looking like pyramids y'all um so i got rid of that and then i got this now this does a decent job um it's okay but it's not perfect it's okay but it's not perfect um not necessarily looking for perfection however um I want consistency you know I want to be able to say every time that I cut my soap that my soap is coming out the way it is supposed to and I don't think I can cut this last piece oh but I can not by a whole heck of a lot but we'll see what happens see this is why I say I need a cutter nope can't cut that I cut a little smidgen off the back it's fine like I said this is just for my family so that is my hippie chick soap we'll see how long it takes for that to harden up and cure out so we can try it out and see how it works in the shower but until then I hope that you are having a wonderful and blessed day wherever you are and until the next soapy video, I'll talk to you later. Bye.